So quest skipping is our main method of dialogue skipping in the Borderlands 2 speedrun for most categories. It saves multiple minutes in pretty much every new game category. And it's incredi incredibly useful. Um, so there's a few things we need to understand about dialogue before we get into quest skipping. Um, number one is that dialogue works up a priority system in Borderlands 2. So some dialogue has high priority, some dialogue has low priority. For example, tutorial dialogue has very high priority. Well, if I activate the tutorial dialogue here, this line of dialogue will interrupt pretty much every other line of dialogue in the game. Um, another thing to note is that whenever you pick up a quest, it plays a line of dialogue. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this. When I pick up Clan War here, Ellie's going to start talking, just explaining a bit about the mission. Um, one thing that's very important about this, though, is that the first line of dialogue from a quest has very high priority, and thus it can be used to skip most other lines of dialogue in the game, which of course is very useful in speedrunning. Uh, however, we don't just have quests lying all over the place, you know, bounty boards or what have it, wherever we need them to be. So we need a way of preserving the quest dialogue in our backpack. And so the way to do this is pretty simple, is that you get one line of dialogue to play, and then pick up another line of dialogue underneath it. For example, if I get Roland to start talking here, from Assassinate the Assassins, I can then pick up the good, the bad, the Mordecai while Roland is talking, and that will preserve the good, the bad, the Mordecai's dialogue in my backpack. So at any point later, I can, um, Play the good, the bad, the Mordecai. Any point throughout my game. I can even you know, I can save quit, load back in, and I will still have this line of dialogue preserved. Right now, and it will play. And again, all of these lines of dialogue have very high priority, and thus they can be used to skip other lines of dialogue. Um, and so there's multiple different methods of using quests to skip dialogue. Um, if you want to use... If you want to skip one line of dialogue, you're going to have to do it a different way from skip if you want to skip multiple lines of dialogue. So, for example, um, here's uh, one of my old runs, one of my old gauge runs. And here, what we're going to do is skip exactly one line of dialogue. And the way we're going to do that is just by playing a quest while um, Jack here is talking. So, we want to skip Jack. And so, we're going to play a quest while Jack is talking. And that's going to interrupt it. I run forward, and I play home movies, which causes this little to start talking, and now we can open this door. This door will not open until Jack start, uh, finishes talking. One thing to note here is that Angel starts talking and interrupts Lil. This is because we interrupted Jack using Lil. We play while Jack is talking. Activate the quest, which causes this little to interrupt. But it will not skip any other lines after this. So if you play a quest during another line of dialogue, it will skip that line of dialogue and nothing else. Um, which is useful in some situations, because here only the one line of dialogue matters. But in some situations, you want to skip multiple lines of dialogue. And if you want to do this with one quest, there's a method to do it. So here's another example from the same run. Um, in control court angel and this is uh right before the second injector is about to fall so this gun loader dies and then i just run the second injector which causes roland to fall so roland's on the ground here um and so what typically happens at this point is that angel lilith and roland will start talking this, this is when um Lil shows up, and then Roland's like, I told you not to come, and yada yada yada. There's just a lot of dialogue there that we don't want to hear. And we can skip it all with one quest. But we have to make sure that we play the quest when no one else is talking. So if I back up here, um, Roland's about to, when Roland's fallen, he's going to say, ah, crap. And we're, we want to wait until he finishes saying that line. He says, ah, oh, crap. And then after he's done talking, I open my inventory and play the quest. And as you can see, 
all the loaders spawn immediately, and you don't have to listen to any of the other dialogue. So if you want to get multiple lines of dialogue with one quest, you have to just make sure that no one else is talking when you play that quest. So those are, those are the two main examples, and that's all you really need to know if you are just learning out and starting to run this game. Um, however, there are exceptions to these rules. Um, for example, this is in the same run, and Control Core Angel as well, but this is before the um, before Roland shows up. So after this Angelic Guard dies is when Roland shows up, and he'll be like, hey, up here, need a hand? Um, and then Angel will start asking him to remove the shields around the Iridium injectors. Again, a lot of dialogue that we don't need to hear, and we can skip it all at one quest. However, we do it in a slightly different method. So here, Roland starts talking, and then I play the quest, which is um, different from when Roland finishes talking, and then I play the quest in this example. Here. So in, in this example, um, no one is talking when they play the quest, and in this example, Roland is talking when the quest is played. Um, now, based on the rules we established previously, um, this should only interrupt one line and nothing else. However, um, it will interrupt multiple lines, as you can see here. Um, Roland has to get to the end of the light bridge, so it takes a second. But Assassinate the Assassin will interrupt all the lines, and then all the loaders and turrets spawn immediately. The reason this works is because Roland is the initial speaker. He says, hey, up here, need a hand. And then the quest we play to interrupt him also has Roland speaking. Assassinate the Assassins as Roland as the speaker. And so Roland can interrupt himself and then continue to skip lines after that. So for example, if I um if when Roland starts talking here, I played something like Doctor's Orders here, which has Tannis as the speaker, then it would skip only one line and nothing else. The reason we can interrupt Roland and continue to skip lines is because we are using a Roland quest. Now again, there's an exception to this. Um, here's an example. Again in the same run, um, this is a thousand cuts, right after the initiation fight. What's going to happen is I'm going to give Brick the note, and then I'm going to kill Sarcastic Slab to start to cause Roland to start talking. Give the note. Slab dies. Roland starts talking. Now at this point, I'm going to interrupt Roland using the quest Won't Get Fooled Again. I use the quest won't get fooled again here. This causes Marshall Freedom to start talking. Now typically what happens, I'm just going to skip a little bit forward here, is once Roland gets to this door here on the right, or once Brick gets to this door here on the right, rather, um, typically Jack will start talking about the mortar bombardment, and then Brick will start talking, and there's, again, a lot of lines we don't need to hear. Um, what was going to happen is Marshall Freeman is just going to interrupt them. Um, now, based on the three rules we just established, this doesn't make any sense. As you can see, no one talks, and the door just opens. Um, so based on the previous three rules, it doesn't really make any sense. And the only reason this works is simply because Marshall Freeman has very, very high priority. So if you have a quest with incredibly high priority, you can play it to interrupt a lot of dialogue, and it will continue to interrupt more lines of dialogue. Um, this is a very specific edge case. Um, this doesn't work in most places. It works basically with Marshall's Freeman and Claptrap. Um, and basically no one else. Um, because Marshall Freeman and Claptrap both have very high priority. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about quest skipping. A slight little recap is just, if you want to skip exactly one line of dialogue, you can just interrupt that line of dialogue with the quest. If you want to skip multiple, you have to play it while no other line of dialogue is playing. And then, if you have the same speaker, you can interrupt and have it continue going forward. And if you have a quest with sufficiently high priority, then you can also just play it with whenever, basically. And it will skip lines of dialogue. Um, so that's a lot to know, a lot to take in. Um, it is kind of confusing, and this isn't a perfect guide. Um, there are other 
paces and other ways dialogue works in this game. But this is everything you'll need to know for running um, basically all of any percent and all of all quests. Um, if you have any more questions, please feel free to ask in the speedrun discord. There will be a link in the description of this video to that. There will be a bunch of people there who would love to help you um, on your way to learning how to run this game. And that's everything you need to know about quest skipping.